Hey you guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today I wanted to share with you a recipe um, that was my great grandma's. When I was a, no, when I was in college, actually, um, when I was in college, my grandma let me borrow all of my great grandma's recipe books. And so I was able to write down a, a bunch of the recipes that um, she used and she had. Um, and so that was, so so special for me. I love older recipes. I love, you know, them with heritage and just those that have stories and that kind of thing. So this was in her books and I have made this recipe so many times. I absolutely love it. You know, being a former pastry chef, I used to make a lot of different custards. And so what we're going to be making today is a custard um, and, or we're going to be making a coconut cream pie. Okay. And the basis of that is a good custard. And I really, I've made a lot of different kinds of custards over the years, a lot of different types of recipes, but this one is really simple. It's a little bit different than, than anything I've made um, it, it, while at work as in the bakery or anything. And I really, really enjoy it. And it's pretty simple and it just gives me that warm fuzzy stuff <laughs> on the inside, just knowing that I'm making a recipe that I have no idea where my great grandma got it from. Um, don't know if it was hers or if she, you know, found it and just really liked it. So she wrote it down, but I really, really like it. So, um, I made a notebook of her recipes and it's pretty, it's getting pretty dated now, but, um, there's some good stuff in here. And so here is the recipe that I wrote down from her. Okay. And I will put a link up to this or actually I'll probably just type it out um, so you guys can, can have it. And I think it's really simple to follow. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started in this. Let me show you how to make my great grandma's coconut cream pie recipe. So we're going to go ahead and get into this recipe in a pot, um, on the stove, we've got three cups of milk. Okay. And this is whole milk. I'm using whole milk today. I think I've probably used 2% in the past. That will work okay. No skim milk for sure. I've, and I've never made this recipe with any type of like nut milk and almond milk, soy milk, anything like that. Just pretty much just using a whole milk. Um, in the, like I said, in this recipe this time, you're welcome to test it out. If it works, gosh, let me know. Okay. Um, it's a great alternative for those that um, have a problem with whole milk. Um, but anyway, so we're just, what we want to do is we want to let this milk um, get to a scalding, okay, scalding point. We don't want to boil it. Scalding is right before boiling, okay? And if we were to boil it, it's just, it's, it can burn it. It just does not, um, it's kind of taking it too far. And so we just want to pretty much just warm it up till it's right at scalding. And in the meantime, while our milk is coming to temp, we are going to work on, um, our thickener for this and what makes it such a lovely custard would be our eggs okay and sugar and flour and so in the in our bowl um, I've measured out three quarters cups of granulated just white granulated sugar okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take probably just a tablespoon or two of this probably two tablespoons and sprinkle it over the top of my milk um, this will keep my milk from forming a skin as it comes to heat or comes to temp and because it can form a skin, um, um, yeah, a skin, I'm sorry. And that'll whisk around and it may not be a smooth custard. So we just throw a little bit of our sugar on top of our milk to prevent that, that's it. Okay, and then we are going to measure seven tablespoons of flour in here, okay? So we are just, I told you guys in a previous video that I kept these things in my flour um, the tablespoon, the scoop, and then that knife to help level. And so I'm going to scoop my flour in. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and woo, seven okay you guys can have this measured out before if you want to um that'd be fine i just just thought i'd do it with you guys today okay so we've got that in our bowl and now we're just gonna break our eggs get those in there again we don't crack our eggs on the side of the bowl we crack them on the table 
or your counter and then you're just going to get both of those in there and we do that again to avoid any shells or cross contamination okay oh, it's actually going to rinse them i don't typically like to just have any bit of egg on my hand and then all we want to do now is just mix whisk this um mixture together okay it's gonna be really thick to start out with but it will come together okay and I'm using a silicone whisk today because my pot is non-stick and if I were to use a metal or wire whisk then it is going to potentially scrape up some of the bottom of the pot that non-stick coating and that's that's a hot negative right there so I'm gonna use a silicone whisk and it'll or a silicone coated whisk and it's gonna it won't scrape the bottom of my pot it's not so harsh on it and we just want to make sure that we whisk this okay we don't want to just stir it together and leave it get some good air incorporated in and make sure that it's it's all mixed together really well we can kind of look and see that this is going to be kind of folding back on itself and that's what we call of a, a ribbon so just mix it good it's gonna take a little bit of arm work okay but it's really worth it this guys this custard is so good and custard is pretty much just another form of breaking it all the way down vanilla pudding okay that's all that is right there and let's check our milk to see where that's at you can see that there's some bubbles started to form around the edge of the pan or the pot and then we see some steam starting to come up so if you see steam and you see bubbles okay we're, we're just pretty much there we can go ahead and take this and what we want to do is temper this um, we didn't go ahead and just throw all of our ingredients in one pot and cook it because there's a chance that you're going to scramble your eggs um, or overcook the eggs, anything like that, okay? So the process that we're gonna be doing is called tempering. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit of this milk mixture, pour it into our bowl with our eggs and flour and sugar, whisk that in quickly, bring it up to temp, bring it a little closer to the temperature of the milk, and then we're gonna pop that mixture back into our pan or our pot, okay, and stir it around until it becomes thick. That's a custard, okay? If you can get this down, then you can make any custard coming and going, okay? So at this time, I am going to cut my heat off of my pot and I'm gonna take some of this custard mixture, I mean, Lord, the milk mixture, maybe, maybe a half a cup to a cup of it. And then I'm just gonna whisk it around, okay? And just putting that little bit in there will not necessarily scramble our eggs or anything it's just going to be in just enough for it to help bring it again up to temperature and so it's not a shock to the egg when we put it in the milk okay we, we don't want it to be a shock because again that that can cause scrambling or cooking of the eggs and then it separates and it's again not not our desired not our desired outcome that pot is hot so i'm going to cut our heat back on okay cutting it on like a medium and then we are going to pour this mixture in here. All right. Go ahead and put your whisk in your pot and start moving it around, getting your liquid moving around and pour the egg mixture in. Just like that, okay? The silicone whisk will help almost act as a rubber scraper and get a lot of that out of there and that'll be good. And now all we're going to do is stir this all right we got our heat on we got our egg mixture in our pot with our milk so we've got our custard mixture together and we're just going to stir it now that's all you need to do you got one job this is one of those willis you got one job okay you want to stir this stir don't walk away from this okay don't don't oh, okay good now i got it together i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna put such and such no ma'am you stay here and you stir okay <laughs> one job you stir this because if you do not it's gonna scorch it, it could curl it, anything it, other than it just be bad okay and we don't want to waste our ingredients we don't want to waste our time 
Um, so we are going to stand here, take a minute, practice a squinch of patience and we'll stir this, okay? Um, and that, that's it, that's what we're gonna do. You see how it's already starting to thicken up, okay? It's already looking a little thicker than it was. And stand in here stirring and I'm gonna, this pot's hot. I love a gas stove top, oh my gosh. But the only thing is, make your pot handle super hot, super hard to hold. And you can see it's starting to get thicker right before your eyes. That's what yours will do. Super easy. We're just gonna whisk. Just continue whisking because what we really want to do is cook this flour out, okay? Um, there are custard recipes and I've made a mini a custard recipe working at the bakery. Um, but what um, this one uses a flour to th help thicken it up. A lot of uh, custard recipes will call for cornstarch to help thicken it up. Either one works just fine. Um, but what you have to do is after it gets thick, we're not just done because, hey, it's thick. Look, no ma'am. We're gonna stir for another minute or so because of what we wanna do is make sure that that cornstarch or flour taste is cooked out because that will be a little drier on the back of your tongue and that's not, doesn't, it's not pleasant. So we, we kinda wanna just cook that out, okay? That's all we're gonna do. Let's just give it a few more seconds of whisking. to cook out that mixture. This looks a little loose, okay? But when it sets up in the refrigerator, it, it'll definitely firm up and stiffen up. And you're gonna have a lovely, lovely custard recipe. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make coconut cream pie. So um, I think we're good. I'm gonna cut my heat off, okay? And this recipe does not call for us to add any any butter to this, but we, <laughs> okay. Butter makes everything better. And we have a motto, it's called more butter, more better. All right, so um, I'm just gonna take about a half a stick of butter, okay? Pop it in there. We're just gonna break it up so this was a softened stick of butter. And that's gonna go in, mix in fairly easily. It's gonna make it beautiful and glossy and shiny and all that good stuff. And I'm actually gonna grab some vanilla extract, okay? And we're gonna put some vanilla extract in here, stir it in, and then we'll be ready to pour in our pan because it's pretty much done. I mean, it's not really that difficult. It's just that technique, that tempering, or that process of tempering your eggs is important. If you can get that down, you'll be, you'll be good, okay? So we're just gonna grab some vanilla. All right, put in about a teaspoon or so in there let's get in all right that looks good pop this in the sink and so what we're going to do now is just pour our custard into a dish so we can pop it in the fridge and let it chill um we're gonna let this chill for a minimum of, I would say four hours or so, but we, you would want to, normally people would put in a, um, put it in like a deeper bowl or something, just pop it in a bowl, pop it in the fridge, that kind of thing, and just let it chill. But I like to work it a little faster, so I'll put it in something like a pie plate where it's a little, not quite so deep, and then that chills faster, okay? Because, yeah. So, we are just going to pour it in. That's all we're gonna do. And again, make sure you get yourself a good rubber scraper, okay? Because it comes in handy. The only other thing um, that you want to do before you pop this in the fridge is put some aluminum, oh, shoot, <laughs> some plastic wrap on the top of it. You can, um, you definitely, you can cover just the top of this. You know, you would think, oh, let me just put some plastic wrap, wrap across the very top of it. But what you really need to do with a custard, okay, this should not be this hard. All right, let's see. 
All right, now. Okay, I know how to work with this stuff. This is making me look bad. Get in there. Oh, Lord. This is a new roll. I'm not used to this one. Okay. Anyways. What we're going to do... <laughs> the struggle is real today. Because we're going to lay this directly on top of this custard. Okay. Pat it down. Like you patting a little baby butt. Oh, ain't it so cute? Pat your little baby butt, okay? Pat it down. On top of it. All right. And then just, you can... And that's it. You want to put this in the fridge again until it's nice and set two to four hours overnight, two days later. I think it'll hold in the refrigerator up to a week. Um, so just get it made. And then we will finish it off in a little bit. So our custard has cooled. Okay, it's nice and cool. And what I need to do is I want to kind of get it started up, get it mixed up a little bit and add some coconut to it. Okay. Honestly, you can add the coconut before you put it into the fridge or afterwards, but today I'm going to go ahead and do that after it's been cooled. And so I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to use, so I'm just going to kind of, actually, I'll just, just going to go ahead and just dump it all in there. You see how it thickened up? Yep. See how it thickened up? It looks pretty loose originally, but it's nice and thick now. We... That's what I'm talking about. That'll hold it nicely in a pile. Anything else? Because instead of using it in just a whole pie today, I'm gonna make coconut cream pie in the jar. Okay, I'm just gonna layer it up in these mason jars, show you how I do that. You again can absolutely um, can absolutely just put it into a baked pie shell or you can put it into a graham cracker pie shell whatever works the best for you um will work just fine for for this custard okay it's pretty versatile i'm just going to add recipe calls for a half to a third of a or lord a half a cup to three quarters of a cup you can put that you can put more whatever tickles your little fancy will do and we are just going to mix that in there okay That looks, you guys, oh my gosh, this stuff is like what I dream of. Oh, it's so good. So wonderful. So, so wonderful. Mm. Yes, Lord. Okay. All right. That looks good. So we've got our custard. Okay. All right. Now, to assemble. Um, I've got for my crust in this, I don't want just a jar of just pudding i want to use some crust okay so this is essentially a cheesecake crust but just not baked it is graham cracker crumbs um sugar and melted butter just mixed together you can um use this uh you can make your cheesecake recipe and if you don't need all your crust or if you just want to make a little extra if you know you might be making some custard you can always use it you can pop it in the fridge it'll sit in the fridge a couple days or um, yeah, it'll, it'll just sit in the fridge a couple days and you can use it for multiple things. So it's, it's great like that. Um, so what we're going to do, figure out how I want to get myself set up here. Um, do it like this. So you guys can see, we'll just start with one. Okay, um, oh, and I'm going to, while I get this, I'm gonna, in the refrigerator, I've got my mixer bowl kind of hanging out in there with some heavy whipping cream in it. Okay, I've got about a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm just gonna whip that up. Uh, a colder bowl will make your, will help whip your cream up faster. So we're gonna make some whipped cream to go on top of these. I'm just gonna get that started going. And I'm gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar to it. Okay, so to sweeten it up a little bit. Just so two tablespoons will get it done. You don't need a half a cup or anything. Kind of overly sweeten it and I made a hot mess. As I usually do. But we're just going to turn that up. Okay. Let that go. In the meantime, you can use um, 
<laughs> Ziploc bags um, to do this with. You can absolutely just, you can scoop it out with a spoon into your jar or you can use a Ziploc bag and kind of squirt it in there. I have these piping bags and because this jar is deeper, if this is a longer bag, it'll be easier for me than a Ziploc bag. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna keep an eye on my cream at the same rate, okay? So I'm just gonna, what I wanna do with this bag, okay. So they come <laughs> like this, right? You buy them as a, as a big bag like this. So what you wanna do is just kind of hold it down, okay? Take it, hold it down over your hands, pull the, pull the bottom down, and it kind of helps open it up for you, okay? And you're holding it with your first finger, your middle finger, and your thumb, right? You're just going to hold it open, and you're just going to drop some of that custard in there. Use your hand to help loosen it from the spatula to drop a little bit more, okay? That's all you're going to do with that. All right, and then you want to take, slide your right hand underneath the lip of this bag and just kind of make straight, right? Kind of shake it down to shake the, the custard down and then trap it between your first finger or your forefinger and your thumb and give it a good twist, All right? That's how we're gonna do this. We need to cut it, cut a hole I think probably a good inch and a half or so to weigh up the bag, and that should make us a nice size. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna drop that right there for a minute, keeping an eye on our cream. We want to make that stiff peaks, all right? And I'll show you what that looks like. It's gonna go from soft uh, to medium to stiff, and we want a stiff peak cream. Um, so I'm just gonna take a tablespoon, just a, something you might eat or serve, I like to eat out of these, but anyways, um, serve in them, and take a good rounded, let's say, let's go for two rounded spoonfuls, <laughs> spoonfuls of this stuff, okay, pop it in there, um, kind of, yeah, pop it in there, nothing, nothing super fancy about that, and then take my bag, twist it around so I got a good hold on it, Okay, and use your left hand to guide and your right hand to squeeze. So that's why you don't want to fill your bag up to the very top here. Okay, kind of don't fill it any more than halfway full, half to three quarters, because you want to be able to squeeze it. So you're, again, you're going to leave, lose your left hand to guide and you're just going to squirt that around in the bottom. Okay, give it a good layer. And that's all we're going to do with that. And it looks like our cream is coming up. Okay. And so I think right now we should be where we want to be. Yeah, that's a good stiff peak right there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. See, it's holding its own shape. Holding the shape. Yeah, that's good. You can do it a little under. If you keep whipping, you make butter. <laughs> Not quite what we want. Not the desired outcome. Right. So, got our cream done. We're just going to set that to the side. So, I want to continue with this. So, I'm just going to layer up the um, graham crackers and the custard. The graham crackers and the custard, okay? Um, so, I'm just going to kind of turn my jar a little bit to try to get this first as evenly as possible. Use about a tablespoon and a half or so. Just whatever you like. I mean, honestly, there's this is not an exact... I'm just going to run this around the edge. It's not an exact... Thing. It's up to you. Okay, coconut acting a little extra. All right, tablespoon. I'm gonna do a few layers of this. Okay. All right. I think, I think that looks good. All right. Let's get us a, another kind of thinnish layer of this. All right. That coconut is just. Jumbling up there. All right. So this is what we have so far. So now what I want to do is just take another tablespoon, okay? And then I'm just going to dollop some of this cream on there. You could absolutely pipe this out if you want to with a Ziploc bag or a piping bag. Maybe got a little more than I needed. 
um, that's it. Okay. And then we have some coconut that we toasted earlier on the pan, on the, on the stove. You can do it in the oven or on the stove. And all I want to do is just sprinkle, just a little sprinkle. Okay. Now that's lovely. That kind of looks like a lot of dessert. I know. Um, <laughs> so the good thing about, about this is that you can eat this in one sitting. You can eat half of it, pop it in the fridge, um, save it till the next day. You can put whipped cream layered up with all these layers if you want to, if you want to put more whipped cream in the middle or whatever. It's totally customizable. Um, but I love having a coconut cream pie in a jar. It's just a little bit more fun, um, a little bit easier to eat. It makes a wonderful pie that sets up into a really nice pie as well. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just build one more. But we're going to pop our lid on our jar and it's ready to go, you guys. I mean, honestly, how stinking cool is that? And especially right now during the Rona, <laughs> um, you can make these. You can make small versions. You don't have to make a huge jar like this, okay? Um, you can make a small version. And you can, like, just text somebody and be like, dude, I left you something on your porch. You know, I mean, spray it with Lysol. Never touches the food. You know what I mean? Just anything like that and then it's a nice gift it's a nice treat and how how fun and just kind of takes your mind off of everything that's going on just to share share the love you know share the joy leave a little sweet note and you know just tell them share some lord share some jesus with them okay because it's just so sweet to trust in jesus i know um a lot of you may know that, but y'all, it's, it's there's nothing sweeter than them just being in love with Jesus and trusting him to, to make it all okay, to make it all right. All right. And again, let's see here. Go in with a little bit more cream here. Yeah. Let's see. How many have I got here? One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Okay. I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter. Just so maybe it doesn't touch the top in case I'm going to keep it in the fridge a couple couple days. So it's a good little amount of that whipped cream on there. Just smoosh it around. Okay. A little coconut. Yes, you guys. I mean, honestly. Okay. All right. That's what we've done. We've just made coconut cream pie in a jar. Again, this recipe is very versatile. You can use it to make many different things. Um, you could make, you know, like a, I don't know, like a banana pudding, banana coconut pudding. I, that would be different. Um, there's just, just make it, enjoy it. I really hope you do. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for um, giving us some time today to make something that, again, was my great grandma's. It just makes me feel good and makes me appreciate my heritage. and and where I came from. Um, it's, it's fantastic. So anyways, hope you have a great day. Thank you again. Bye.